Hey everybody, so I'm back. I'm going to film a little bit of the process here because I think some of you might be wondering how this is done if you don't want to look on somebody else's channel. I actually have two new designs here that I created um, using some Love Cynthia digital um, images and uh, some fonts that I have on my computer. Um, both of them, both of them use images from Love Cynthia. These are purchased from her store um, and they're digital stamps. She has, when you purchase from her, she has them both in a color and a black and white version. Um, so you don't have to color them yourself if you don't want to. So that's what I opted for. Um, this one is going to be a coffee based one and this is going to be a tea based one. So you can see this one has a polka dot, um, background on it and I'm gonna uh, it'll be interesting to see what color it comes out as because on the screen it was actually like a greenish color and the macaroon in the middle is actually green they're not exactly the same color though so um, I'll be interested to see how this looks when it's actually sublimated and then this one has no background so I can uh, place it on the mug uh, wherever I would prefer to have it. So I'm going to try and show you at least a little bit of what happens when I um, do the sublimation. I'm going to, I've already prepped my mugs. They're, um, they've been wiped down with alcohol swab on the outside. And then um, I'm going to actually do some of the taping around the mug. Um, probably not do it all on camera, but you'll see the result. So I'm going to pause the video right here. So I've cut down my paper on both sides actually because it was a little bit too long to go around the mug and um, so I can tape it um, to the mug in a place that I would like. Um, my my uh, image of course is not um, you know a full like sublimated image so it's only going to be in certain spots on the mug. So what I'm trying to do is actually position the piece of paper so that the image is going to be centered top to bottom on the mug and also from side to side it's going to be secure. So what I'm going to do is actually just look to see if I've got it evenly spaced away from the mug handle um, and I can see the image, right? I can actually see the image through the piece of paper. You might not be able to see it on the video but I can see it um, and I want the image to kind of start and end the same distance away from the handle. So I'm just looking to make sure that that's the case and that when you know somebody is actually holding the mug whether they be right-handed or left-handed that the image actually shows nicely on that front of the mug um, whichever is facing you or facing outward um, because that is also just as important. So I'm taping just this um, this side and what I'm going to do is just kind of make sure I've got it nice and tight around it, around the mug itself, um, kind of smoothing it out a little bit and making sure it's also straight um, across on the mug itself. Because that's the other thing, you know, some mugs are, are not exactly um, the, see and I can tell this one's like a little bit it's not exactly um, perfectly round in shape because it's making my paper kind of bulge out. So I'm going to sort of try and keep it real tight and then tape it down. And I'm going to tape it more than just in these two places, obviously, because what you need is really good contact between the paper and the mug. Um, and I'm not going to get too overzealous with the actual tape. I'm not going to tape it all the way around because I think that's might be overkill because this is going to be really tight in the mug press too I think um, and like I said since I'm not sublimating all the way to the edge uh, I'm not too worried about um, there being you know edge to edge an edge to edge sort of pattern there. So I just want to make sure that this is actually centered on the mug correctly. Now what I'm also going to do is going to put another piece of paper over the top of this because like I said in my earlier video, in case there's any blowout from, they call it blowout, um, from the ink 
um, from the bottom layer, it won't get on my um, mug press and ruin the mug press because that can happen too. Because what's happening is when you heat this to the correct temperature, the ink that's in the paper turns into a gas and that gas it adheres to the treated mug. And the, the mug itself has been treated with some sort of polyester type um, coating. And that's how this process works. And that's the reason why it's a chemical process. So that's the reason why this is a permanent sort of situation where you can actually put it in the dishwasher. You can hand wash it. I've scrubbed the um, other mug that I made um, with a, not not hard, but I've, you know, I've used a um, a, a grit type of sponge on it on the outside just to see, you know, how it would perform. So I'm actually going to take some of these corners and tape them down too because I can see they're coming up and I want there to be good contact for you know for the image that I do have so I'm going to do that at least and then I'm also going to put another piece of paper over top just to to catch any blowout um you guys might think this is overkill but I'll have to even do even more on the other design because it is an edge to edge um, printed um, my first one in that way um, type of uh, design. So I'll be back in a second with the other um, paper over the top. All right, guys, so I'm back. Okay, so with this mug, this is the one that does not have the background printed on it. It is um, got the print, uh, the printed image is underneath. Uh, and then I have another layer of the butcher paper just as a, um, what do you call it, uh, for catching any um, blowouts from the sublimation process. So I'm actually going to, when I do this, I'm going to sublimate the mug upside down just because this part tends to, um, I'm not going to be sublimating this anyway, um, but the mug itself tends to um, hit, there's a metal plate down in the Cricut um, mug press. I don't want it to hit that. Um, so I'm just going to put it in upside down, but I wanted to show you that I have not um, taped it all the way around um, for this particular mug because this one doesn't have a full design all the way from top to bottom. It just has two designs, one right here and one right here, just like the other mug that I previously shared um, in this one. So it's got, you know, just two designs, on, one on each side. So I'm not too worried about the tape and the the amount of um, contact that it's coming with the mug because this part doesn't have any design on it it's just the part closest to the handles so that's that one this one as you can see has lots of tape over it this is just the initial design taped up um, I want to have really good contact here with a lot uh, with less um, you know gaps like you don't want to have your paper kind of gaping out because you want the um, mug itself to be in contact with the paper all the way around and the mug press is pretty tight to begin with because these mugs are are, are not small mugs this is a 15 ounce mug um so there's usually really good contact um and so i just am taping or making sure the tape itself is is really stuck very well there's no gaps um you know in the paper it um pulling away from the mug in this first layer and then I'm going to actually put a second again a second layer over this just in case there's any blowout that comes from uh, the gases you know escaping and that's ink right so it could actually come out um, and ruin your press and it, once it gets on your press then you have a problem so that's the reason why we do that um, or why I do it lots of people don't do it because they don't feel like they need to but I'm not one of those people because the press itself, I think I paid $200 for. Um, you can probably get one a lot cheaper. That's, a, you know, one of those black ones that goes with, the, um, I think they're mostly black. They're like all metal, very industrial looking, but I don't have room for one of those. And I also don't like the way it looks. So part of it is that. That's the reason why I bought the mug press. So I'll be back. I'm going to go ahead and tape a larger piece of butcher paper over this um, just for safety of that blowout 
and then we'll come back and sublimate. Be right back. Hey guys, so I'm back. I have taped up some of this butcher paper around the um, second mug and I actually turned on my Cricut mug press. It's warming up. You can see here the, the light is orange. When it gets to temperature, it's going to turn green and then I can put my first mug in, but I wanted to explain some things as well. So I have my Teflon pillow here which is a surface that's big enough to hold both mugs once I've finished sublimating because they are hot and you don't want this to to burn anything that you put it down on. So you could use a trivet, but I already have this um, pillow. It's actually, you know, four pressing shirts, um, but it is stable enough for me to put the mug down on these. I've also got my blunt tweezers here. I bought these off of Amazon because they were cheaper than uh, buying the Cricut brand. Um, but this won't scratch your mugs if you're wanting to take off the paper um, after you sublimate and it's still hot. So there's that. And then I have my um, heat resistant gloves. So um, I'm waiting for this to turn um, or to get to temperature. And when that does, I will show you guys, and you can feel the heat, I will show you guys um, the sublimation process. I don't know if I'll record the whole thing because I don't want this video to be too long. Um, just so you all know, I have probably about six inches between this, this and um, some of my uh, supplies here that are on my desk. Um, there's no heat around the, around the side of the... Um, mug press it's really on the top so my camera is up a little bit higher it's not right over it and I'm going to kind of move that around a little bit not keep it in place and not record the whole sublimation process because all you're going to do, do is see some lights flashing here anyway so um, I'll be right back all right guys so you can see that um, light is green now that means I can put my mug in I'm actually going to go ahead and do that I'm going to do the um, print that is not the full color bleed print or you know um full top to bottom print i'm going to do the other one first which is just a partial print and um i'm actually sublimating my mug upside down um just because i don't want to get that closure near it now my print doesn't go all the way to the handle right you do know that so um i'm going to just put it down far enough that I know the whole mug is is in that green area that all the sides are all the way down in there and then I'm going to close the latch and you'll see the green portion engage around the mug so there you go and then the the light on the timer starts to blink um, and when it is finished that last light will will um, light up and it will be done sublimating. So I will be back when that's the case. Hey guys, so I'm back. Um, I wanted to go ahead and try and catch it before it actually finishes. And you can see, I hope you can see that last dot is actually on uh, blinking status. There it goes, you can hear it beep. And so that means you're ready to take your mug out. Now, for those of you with a handle on the mug, you can touch the handle because the handle is not hot. But do not touch any other part of the of the um, mug because it is hot. So I just took it out with my my hand. You can see that um, I'm putting it over to the side on my uh, Teflon pillow, and I'm putting the other mug in. I wanted to do this so that I could just you know drop the next mug in there and start it without having to worry too much about it. So I'm going to go ahead and clamp this one in. And this is the one that has the full on pattern all the way around. Okay, so that now restarts it and it's going to go ahead and do its thing. And I'm going to um, show you, when you see this, you can see that this looks like kind of a toasted looking color. That's what happens to the paper um, that is expected. But you can kind of see that through the paper now pretty well that there is a design there. That means that you're your design has probably been sublimated. Now I'm gonna actually put my gloves on because I'm gonna start taking the paper off since I can't wait. And we're gonna see what it looks like. This is the exciting part. Um, 
some of this paper is going to come off easy some of it is not um, and that's part of the reason why I have the tweezers because the tweezers will help me remove that of course the gloves don't help because or the gloves don't help me remove the tape but at least I can't scratch my finished piece and they help me take off the tape so as that other mug is sublimating we're gonna see what the finished mug looks like this first one I hope it turns out nice this could get really addictive <laughs> I can see it being really addictive. The tape's not too hard to come off. It's it's definitely um, doing its job. And you can see the, the paper starting to pull away there. So I'm gonna just do it carefully. No sneaky peeks now. Um, doing it off camera so you can't really see it, the finished product yet. But before I show you the finished mug, I'm going to put it off to the side so you can't see it yet. Um, I want to show you that piece of paper that was around the mug. See, it does look uh, slightly baked, but you can see there's still ink on the paper. Actually, you could probably sublimate this again. I don't know how well it would do, but you could do it again and see what you, you get. Um, but here's the finished mug. So if you were holding this with your left hand, you know, this is what it would look like if you're left-handed. So you'd be able to see the, the image. And then if you were to turn it around and hold it with your right hand, I'm right-handed, so um, you'd be able to see this. Now, um, I know my gloves are probably putting some something down onto the mug, which I can clean after this um, cools down. I'm only able to hold this because I'm holding, I, I've got the mug, uh, the gloves on this you could feel how hot it is through the gloves um, and hopefully I got it eh, kind of straight um, I, I think this mug is so cute if you're a tea drinker um, which I am I drink both tea and um, coffee so that is the first mug and I will be back to show you the second mug I'm not gonna do that on camera because um, it's gonna take too long so I will be back in a few and thanks for sticking by me okay I'm back I have uh, removed all the paper from the second mug and the color is actually very very close to how it looked on my monitor so this is the second print or the the all over printed uh, mug and you can kind of see um, I don't want to touch it but let me show you right here there is a um, issue where I didn't tape the paper down as good as I could have so there's a little bit of a ghosting there uh, that's what happens when the 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 image isn't print isn't in good contact with the mug so overall I did okay I think see there's another spot right here it's really hot um, there's another spot right here where there's a little lightness on the corner and that is again because the paper with the image was not in good contact with the mug the tape could have been you know sealed a little bit better so this is what it looks like from the left hand side and it's the same print on the right hand side I'm going to um, switch hands but I have to put the mug down first to do that because I'm gonna pick it up with by the handle with my bare hand because the handle isn't hot like I said so you can see the other side it's the same image on the other side and I think I did pretty well taping around all the sides again there's a little bit of lightness right here along this edge where the tape could have been smoothed over better with maybe with my nail and maybe down here but overall I'm happy with it see this is what it looks like when you're holding your mug um, you got the little macaroon girl with her big old cup of tea or coffee and then um, this is a font that I have purchased um, and downloaded to my computer and so I can basically put any quote I want in there <laughs> some of them aren't going to be so 
clean for uh, YouTube, but I won't show those. So those will go to friends of mine that will probably appreciate the sentiments. So I thought I would go ahead and show you the process. Thanks for sticking around. Um, if you have questions, um, I can try and answer them. But again, there's a lot of sublimation um, videos that are out there now. My mug press is off. It's been off this whole time. After I took the second mug out, I turned it off. So um, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.